Welcome to Migrationology.com. I'm Mark and today I'm going to show you guys how to drink yerba mate. Now actually I got really highly addicted to this stuff in Argentina and as well as in Uruguay. Um, but it's, it's a tea. Uh, I'll give you a look at it right here as you can see. And it has a real earthy smell to it. First of all you need the device. You got here a little silver guy a little leather encased gourd, which is one of my personal favorites. And you've got right here what I call the gangsta hoof. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of the herb, and you're gonna fill it up about three quarters of the way into the gourd. I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna use the gangsta hoof. And I'm gonna fill it about three quarters of the way. Then I'm going to give it a little shake, just to get that, that extra powder out. And what I'm going to kind of do is I'm going to push it all to one side, angle it, and then I'm going to grab my straw, metal straw, the bombilla, and I'm going to stick it into the side, into the angled side, as you can maybe see. I'm going to kind of jam it in there and keep my straw out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab hot water. Ooh, whoops. Anyway, let me add a little more. Do that again. So I'm going to grab that hot water that I've just heated. And I'm in a handy little kitchen, so I've heated up my water in a microwave this time. And I'm going to add it to my thermos. Now the key here is to pour the hot water down the side of the straw. And that's basically all there is to it. Now you just basically sip from the, from the top of the straw. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. That'll give you some energy. Now the good thing about mate is that you can just sit here and drink it, um, and you just keep adding hot water as the as the water. So you can keep on drinking. I guess I'd say you probably fill it up about eight to ten times before you need to re up the the herb into the into the gourd. But that's basically it. I'm Mark Weens with Migrationology.com.